Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to another session. In this session, uh, I will be I will be explaining the baseline configuration of uh, SIPO, how to create the controlling area in SAP. So with the help of this controlling area, uh, we can we can create the cost center and profit centers and uh, do all the baseline setup after creation of uh, controlling area. So in SAP, we can create the, this controlling area with the help of this transaction code OKKP. So here we can see OKKP. So then click on new entries here and then give your controlling area so in my case my controlling area would be 2000 And uh, here I have uh, maintained the controlling area 2001 and then name I have mentioned and then here we can see uh, assignment control assignment control here will be will be having a uh, two options like a uh, controlling area as same as company code means uh, for each company code we will be defining a separate separate uh, controlling area in that requirement we need to select this one if it is uh, for one controlling area uh, it should be mapped to multiple company codes in that scenario we need to select this option okay then the currency type my currency type would be 30 group currency and then the group currency would be usd here and then my chart of account would be 2001 and my physical year variant k4 and here system is asking for the, the controlling area standard hierarchy so here i am mentioning as 2001 underscore Cbo and then click on hit enter. So now system is saying here this uh, standard hierarchy 2001 Cbo is not created, does not exist. So uh, system will automatically create when you click on S. So system has already created it and then click on save. So data has been saved now now we have to activate the components go to double click on here and click on new entries and then here we need to mention the physical year currently we are in physical year this 2024 and here this component is not active if we activate this component then only we can be will be used uh, we can use the cost center and all those things so so i'm randomly i'm activating all these components okay and here project sales order cost of you can vary in this and these all things all these things are we required in uh, further configurations like uh, for project systems ps module and this is for sales order and cost object and real estate management this is refx and this commitment management uh, which comes under the fund management and all those things and the variance is posting valuation in all currencies those things this one and then once this is completed then again click on save here and then click on this assignment to company code so we have created our controlling area this one this controlling area we need to assign it to our company code just click on new entries here and i am mentioning my company codes here 2009 and 2010 India, Honda India and Base Private Limited, and then click on save here. So, system is giving some warning messages here. Okay, uh, we'll see these issues in uh, our next class, next session. Okay, then click on continue here. Click on save. So changes have been done now. Go on, come one step back. Again, one more step back. Again, click on save. 
data already saved here okay go back yeah so that's all in this section we have successfully created the controlling area so this controlling area i am including in this uh, a baseline settings because uh, uh, after all the baseline setup is done we need to create a document we need to post a document again is to one balance sheet account and one expense account uh, at the time when i am posting the expense account i would need uh, the cost object whether it is a cost center or profit center or internal or any cost object we need then only we will be able to post the document document uh, so that's why i am uh, i'm explaining this uh, baseline configuration of co i have included in this uh, playlist okay thank you so much for this Thank you.